This isn't about religion, it's about children. But let's talk about religion for a minute, because it's class. Leviticus 18.22 is the main passage, of course, but if you look at another passage, Leviticus 21.20, you'll find it's an anagram for nasty gays stay up all night and can't do maths. Some people say it's hypocritical to respect some parts of Leviticus and not others, like the ban on wearing torn clothes or not working on Sundays, but the difference is that when it comes to gay people, it's just like, Ugh. you know, it's just like, Ugh. Ugh. This is like, it's like, bleh. Personally, I live my life 100% in accordance with Leviticus. If you ever visit any of my dungeons, you'll find that none of my slaves are Israelites. I only ever sleep with my own slaves and never with those of my neighbour Barry, and I have never eaten a single one of my own camels. What's most important is to follow your instincts. God wants us to love each other and do good on this earth. But God has also made it so that some people are just... Bleh, just bleh. I remember meeting an actual gay person once. He had a strange pagan aura about him. But he wore shirts just like mine. It was very confusing. Some people might say that your personal discomfort with homosexuals shouldn't justify prohibition and equal marriage. No, I think it should. 